Dementia doesn't start with memory loss. It starts with how you speak. Long before someone forgets names or faces, their brain sends warning signs through subtle speech changes. And here's the terrifying part. They won't even realize it's happening. One day they struggle to find a word. The next, they mix up phrases without noticing. Then suddenly, their speech sounds strange, even to their own family. These speech changes can appear up to a decade before dementia is diagnosed, but most people don't recognize them in themselves. That's why family and loved ones must be the first to notice before it's too late. If you see these signs, their brain is already in decline, and without action, it will only get worse. Recognizing them early is the only way to slow or even stop the damage. If you love them, you won't ignore this. Let's dive right in. Number one, saying the wrong words without realizing it. Unlike normal word finding difficulties, where a person struggles to recall a word, this involves replacing words with completely unrelated ones, and they often speak with full confidence, unaware of the mistake. A clinical study linked this speech change to disrupted neural pathways, causing the brain to misfire and replace words randomly. This isn't just forgetfulness. It signals the brain losing its ability to associate words with meanings. They may say clock when they meant microwave, refer to a dog as a jacket or a television as a window. At first, these errors seem harmless, even humorous. But over time, they become more frequent and harder to correct. A person may not realize their mistake even when corrected, leading to frustration or denial. Anxiety or fatigue worsens the issue, causing more frequent and severe mix-ups. Real case, Barbara, a 74-year-old retired government employee, started calling her cat a table. She'd look directly at it and say, come here, table. At first, her family thought she was joking until she began doing it with everyday objects. A neurological evaluation revealed that her brain was struggling to connect words with their meanings. Number two, losing the ability to follow conversations. A simple conversation suddenly becomes overwhelming. Someone with early dementia struggles to keep up, especially in group discussions. Multiple voices and rapid exchanges make it even harder to process information. Studies indicate this happens because the brain can't keep pace with speech, making it difficult to follow conversations and respond naturally. They might ask, wait, what did you just say? More frequently, struggle to jump into a conversation at the right moment, hesitate before responding, or take longer to find the right words, appear lost or distracted mid-conversation, sometimes nodding along without fully understanding. As the condition progresses, they may avoid conversations altogether, withdrawing from social interactions to hide their struggles. Real case, David, 71, always loved dinner parties until conversations became exhausting. His wife noticed he was quieter and less engaged than usual. When she asked why, he admitted he couldn't keep up with discussions. He would forget what someone said just seconds earlier. Concerned, his family took him for testing, where doctors confirmed mild cognitive impairment. Number three, flat emotionless speech. Dementia doesn't just erase memory. It gradually strips away personality, altering the way a person speaks, reacts, and expresses emotions. Experts report that people in the early stages of dementia gradually lose emotional variation in their voice. Their speech becomes monotone, flat, and robotic, lacking the natural tone shifts that express feelings. This happens because the brain regions that control emotional expression, tone, and vocal modulation start to deteriorate. As a result, they may stop showing excitement, frustration, or enthusiasm when speaking, even in situations that would normally evoke strong emotions. Over time, their voice may sound detached or indifferent, making conversations feel distant and less engaging. Real case, Linda, a 69-year-old grandmother, was once full of warmth and humor, but her daughter noticed something chilling. Her voice had lost its usual spark. 
Whether talking about her favorite TV show or an important family event, she spoke in the same dull, emotionless tone. This shift was the first clue that she was developing dementia. Number four, frequently losing train of thought. A person in early dementia may start a sentence, then suddenly stop. Their mind goes blank and they struggle to pick up where they left off. They lose track of what they were saying, leaving thoughts incomplete. A major study uncovered that as dementia develops, the brain struggles to maintain the thread of a conversation, making it harder to organize thoughts in real time. This leads to long pauses mid-sentence as they try to remember their point, sentences that trail off without finishing, leaving listeners confused, moments of visible frustration as they grasp for words that won't come, increased use of filler words like ee or you know to buy time while struggling to regain their thoughts. Over time, these interruptions become more frequent and severe, making everyday conversations exhausting and discouraging for both the speaker and those around them. Real case, Mark, 80, noticed something odd. He would start talking, but suddenly forget where he was going with it. He'd pause, shake his head, and say, never mind, I lost it. At first, his wife thought he was just tired, but when it became a daily struggle, they sought help. Tests confirmed early dementia. Number five, repeating phrases or questions. A person with early dementia may ask the same question multiple times, even after it's been answered, or they may repeat entire phrases in conversation without realizing it. Experts report that this happens because the brain fails to store short-term speech patterns, making the person unaware they already said something. As their condition progresses, these repetitions become more frequent and persistent, often frustrating family members who don't realize it's an involuntary symptom. They may also recycle specific words or sentences in different conversations, as if their mind is stuck in a loop. This can make interactions feel repetitive and disjointed, leaving loved ones unsure of how to respond. Real case, Margaret, 67, kept asking, did I take my medicine? Even after her husband answered, she would also repeat, it's a nice day outside, multiple times in the same conversation, sometimes just minutes apart. Her family thought she was just distracted or anxious, but as it became a daily pattern, they grew concerned. A visit to the doctor revealed it wasn't just forgetfulness, it was one of the earliest signs of dementia. Dementia isn't just forgetfulness, it's brain failure. A new report shows that once dementia reaches advanced stages, 93% of patients don't survive beyond five years. But here's the key, catching these early speech changes is the only way to stop it before it's too late. The next four signs are even more alarming, and the most shocking one is still coming. Number six, mixing up pronouns and tenses. Instead of saying, he went to the store, they might say, they go to the store. They confuse past and present, saying things like, I go there yesterday. At first, these mistakes seem small, but over time, they become frequent and unpredictable mostly without the person realizing it. Findings suggest that dementia patients frequently misplace pronouns and mix verb tenses, struggling to organize sentences in a logical way. As the condition worsens, their speech may become more fragmented, making it difficult for others to follow their conversations. This isn't just a simple slip of the tongue, it's a sign that the brain can no longer properly structure language or process time-related concepts, leading to increasing confusion in daily interactions. Real case, Carlos, Sepetu7, started confusing pronouns and tenses in everyday conversation. He would say things like, she is my son, or I go to church last week, leaving his family puzzled. At first, they thought he was just being funny, but as the errors became more frequent and bizarre, they knew something was wrong. A cognitive evaluation revealed what they feared, early onset dementia. 
Number seven, struggling to find the right words. You know what you want to say, but the right word just won't come. Instead, you hesitate, struggle to find the correct term or unknowingly replace it with something else. The frustration builds as your mind searches, but nothing fits. Studies indicate that people in the early stages of dementia frequently substitute words using vague placeholders like thing or that stuff instead of specific terms. Over time, they may rely more on generalized descriptions rather than naming objects directly, saying things like the round thing you eat soup with instead of spoon. This happens because the brain's word retrieval network weakens making it harder to access even simple vocabulary. If this pattern worsens, it can lead to long pauses, incomplete sentences, or frustration during conversations. Real case, Anna, a 66-year-old retired teacher, first noticed something was wrong when she couldn't recall simple words while talking to her grandchildren. Instead of saying refrigerator, she'd say that cold thing. At first, her family dismissed it as normal aging, but when it started happening daily, they sought medical advice. A neurological exam confirmed early-stage Alzheimer's. Number eight, shorter, simpler sentences. Someone who used to speak fluently now cuts their sentences short, stripping away details and complexity. Instead of saying, I went to the store, picked up some groceries, and stopped for coffee, they say, went store, got food, had coffee. Their speech becomes choppy and fragmented, making conversations feel unnatural. A major study uncovered that sentence length and complexity shrink in the early stages of cognitive decline. As the brain struggles to connect thoughts smoothly, it compensates by simplifying speech. Over time, this pattern worsens, making responses sound robotic, vague, or overly brief. The person may also hesitate more frequently or rely on generic phrases instead of descriptive language. Real case, John, a 70-year-old former journalist, was known for his detailed storytelling. But over time, his speech became oddly abrupt. Instead of telling his wife about his day, he'd say, walk dog, saw friend, came home. The change was drastic, but his family assumed he was just tired until tests revealed mild cognitive impairment leading to dementia. Number nine, slurred or slowed speech. Dementia doesn't just affect memory. It can physically alter speech, making a person's voice harder to understand over time. A clinical study linked early dementia to reduced coordination in the tongue, vocal cords, and lips, causing speech to become slurred, slowed, or mumbled. At first, this may seem like occasional fatigue or mild confusion, but as cognitive decline progresses, speech can become increasingly garbled or hesitant. Some individuals may struggle to pronounce certain words or experience long pauses mid-sentence as their brain struggles to control vocal muscles. If someone's speech suddenly becomes slower, softer, or less distinct, it could be an early sign of neurological decline that shouldn't be ignored. Real case, Diane, a 83-year-old retired nurse, developed a slow, almost slurred way of speaking. Her words were drawn out and she struggled to pronounce syllables she never had trouble with before. Thinking it was a minor speech issue, her family waited months before taking her for testing, where doctors discovered she had vascular dementia. If these speech changes are happening, your brain, or your loved ones, is already damaged. This isn't just aging, it's neurological decline, and once it starts, it doesn't stop on its own. That's why prevention is everything. Strengthen your brain now, because once the damage is done, there's no one doing it. Watch my other video to learn the best ways to protect and strengthen your brain while you still have time. And there you have it. What are your thoughts? Next, dive into this video for more essential tips to transform your health and help you thrive. You're going to love it.
Thanks for watching Healthy End, and we'll see you there.